Free Golden Eagles for War Thunder. Download the app in the description below. Hey guys, welcome back to War Thunder and welcome to the ME163. I shouldn't be playing the game. I shouldn't be uploading this video. I should definitely not tell you that there is a kill montage of the 163 coming over the course of the next week. But um, certain things have happened in my life, particularly last seven days. Um, I've lost six kilos. I've had a ridiculously powerful bacterial infection. Um, it's commonly known as an angina, but usually these are not problematic. In whatever case it was, I had a chapped lip that got infected, I had a bite in my tongue that got infected, even my gums have been infected due to um, swelling of my wisdom tooth, and over the course of the next month, I'm looking to have both of my wisdom teeth removed, which means more antibiotics, more trying to eat but really not being able to eat, even more weight loss, um, and obviously no ability to do any training. So I've been off the bike for like a week and a half now. I feel terrible about it. Um, I have two beautiful bikes I've been working on. I have content that I want to record with these two bikes and I have not been able to do so. So why are we here? Well, I dream a lot. I have really cool dreams. Not the coolest in the world. I'm sure there's other people out there who have more vivid, who have ability to do lucid dreaming, but I do get these funky dreams. And a couple of days ago, I dreamt that, for whatever reason, I was playing War Thunder, and I was flying the ME-163. Um, I was on alternate history Krimsk, I remember it like it was yesterday, um, taking off from the Northwestern airfield, um, and we were fighting these weird, it was one of those mixed realistic battles, where German teams are fighting German teams, I guess, there was this weird, it looked like a Horton, it was painted in what I could only call like a Polish flag. All of them had this camouflage, just bright white and bright red mixed together in weird crisscrosses. It looked like a Polish Horton. I can't describe it in another way. And what I remember from the dream is I remember shooting down about three of them in fast succession because they were all stalling out. And then promptly crashing my ME-163 into the ground because I was, I was going too fast. And I woke up. And that was it. I didn't think twice about it. And then obviously I got sick. And I did something which I didn't really think I was going to do. But I opened up my stream. And I actually streamed in the, the middle of the night. With, um, with, no, with no webcam. Just music. Just, just the game in the background. And we, just, we did that for about two and a half hours. And we had a, we had a reasonably fine time. I mean, there, wasn't, there was no communication. There, there couldn't be. But it reminded me of, of the old days, in a way, um, the 163, and I wanted to get back into it. And as I was playing it, I kept trying to figure out why this dream happened. Like, what is the purpose of this dream? Because what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to make cycling content, but I'm trying to make it on a, in a twisted way, in, in, in the sense that gamers can understand, in the sense that you can understand, right? Because I know it's a niche. I know that most of you aren't, particularly interested in it it's it's a very specific sport it's a very specific content and so to create videos on it there needs to be something that makes it more appealing so I, I kept thinking about it, I kept thinking about it and then I remember that I did have a video and it's still up there and I'll put it in the description where I called the 163 the gazelle and that's when it clipped for me you know the play style of this plane the reason why it's so funky it's because you're limited to those six minutes of fuel and so no matter how you really want to play it you have to play it with a certain amount of conservativeness because your plane has a limited range you can fly for those six minutes now admittedly yeah with throttle control and being in altitude and this thing is a glider after all you do have the ability to go and make it back to base with like you know 45 seconds of fuel for pretty much anywhere but it will take a little bit of time. And the same principle, in essence, works in cycling. Because if you think about 
your home as the airport you're taking off from. And, you know, you know roughly what your radius is. So you know that you can ride 20 miles on a bike. So that means you know that you can go 10 miles away from your house. Notice how it's halved, right? Because you have to use the energy to come back home. So there is this radius play that you can apply to the world that you're exploring. And as a cyclist, usually you know your local streets, right? As a kid, you know where your school is and you know where your friends live and, and you start connecting those roads together. And every time you take a different route and you figure out, oh, here's a shortcut I can take up. Oh, I can't go here because there's a, there's a fence or something, right? Where it's woods here and it's fields there and it's gravel road. And, and you start to sort of explore the world. And it works quite similar to the way that I think most of us have played this game, or at least for me, when I first branched off at the very start, and it was still arcade, and you're looking at the tech trees, and you get this kind of brilliant effect, which is, you know, looking at a video game, but getting this almost like a real-world experience. And to my surprise, even though I've been sick, and haven't been eating, and losing all this weight, and generally feeling pretty poor, um, the time I've spent in the game has actually been really, really enjoyable, which I didn't expect. But for whatever reason, my subconsciousness was able to extract, out of all these planes that exist in this game, it was able to subtract one very particular one that ironically hasn't changed since day one. I mean, the 163 really hasn't changed at all. It still feels like the same plane that it was back then. And I think that's why I enjoyed it so much, because for players like me, we're not faced by the new stuff. For me to, you know, A-10 Warthog and all these fancy jets and radar-guided, you know, thingamajigs, they don't pull me in. What pulls me in is the feeling of nostalgia. And ironically, this plane not just filled that sort of longing that I've had for years, right? Because for years now, there was very few vehicles in this game that I could pick up and play for an hour and feel maybe I could do another hour. Most of the time, as veteran players, we will open up War Thunder, we'll play two matches, and after that we want to commit Sopoku. And here I was, playing match after match, obviously getting a little bit frustrated at times, because there's, there's still lag in this game, happening for God knows what reasons. There's still a plethora of things that are broken. But... In essence, this plane has not aged one bit. And even though it fights some weird planes, it doesn't really matter because the 163 is the 163. Its play style is so unique, its strengths are so potent that really it doesn't matter what it fights, up-tiered or down-tiered, it didn't matter to me. I would just go in there, suicide run every single match that I had and exit with a big smile on my face knowing that that's another three and a half kills I can slot into that kill montage, which makes me happy, makes you happy, hopefully. serves as a bit of a, well, almost as a, as a cover-up for what's actually happening with the channel. Because I know, I really do understand that most of you aren't interested. But I'm asking for a little bit of support. Because even I don't really know what I'm trying to make. And, uh, you know, it's, it's a new thing for me to figure out what topics of the bike world you'd be most interested in what kind of clips you know is it descending is it road is it mountain bike is it gravel is it this this spectre is is humongous we're talking the same way that you have planes tanks and ships and helicopters you have the same kind of spectrum going on in the world of cycling and it's very difficult to figure out exactly what it is that i want to show what i like doing and what you like watching and what you might enjoy watching so you know, don't just tag along for the ride. Give some criticism, give some suggestions, because I'm very, very open. With that said, everything right now has been pretty heavily halted, as obviously I'm, you know, still antibiotics. I'm still waiting for this thing to fully pass over. Um, a lot of the plans that I had have now been delayed. Some plans have even been cancelled. I was supposed to go to France in early April. That's now indefinitely cancelled for this year. Um, and this season is going to be a bit of a painful one because obviously I've already been a little bit behind my training schedule. I've already fallen ill about twice over the past four months. I'm not entirely sure why. So my next steps are to sort of focus on my health, get this thing sorted out, and then start hammering down. And I want to hammer down 
for my training routes. I want to hammer down at work. And I also want to put a little bit more effort into actually making content because I know that you guys miss watching it and I know that I miss making it. So that's why I've used up this past week, even though I was ill, to get some footage, to get some content. Hopefully over the next week, we can uh, we can all enjoy another three and a half, four minutes of epicness. So until next time, take care and uh, safe flying.